It's time for another Blender update. 4.1 is now in pre-release and officially comes out on March 19th. So let's cover what's new. Bones can now be arranged in hierarchical order. But more interesting to me is that when assigning bones as collections, you can now have an option to have a solo icon, which will only show those bones when selected. Mainly useful when I have a bunch of bones assigned to multiple collections and just want to see one of them without losing ones I already have hidden, in which case hit solo. Oh, and assigning collections looks slightly different. Baking animation now has a couple more options like custom properties. The insert menu is now gone when hitting I, instead it will insert keyframes for really everything. You can hit shift K to choose what keyframes will be applied when hitting I. Apparently this existed already but the hotkey was control shift alt I, so it makes sense having both of these changes at the same time. Speaking of which, they also enabled a new feature where you can choose which one by a pie menu, which you have to enable in preferences and select pie menu and drag in the key and app section which will basically allow you, when you move your 3D cursor and hold I, will allow you to choose which one to keyframe. Yeah, kinda different. There is now an auto lock axis option in the graph editor, there is now a new big channels in the graph editor that has a couple of different options like frame step and frame range, dope sheet is faster, motion paths can be set relative to the camera, and there have been a variety of additions to the compositor nodes, like adding size property to the pixelate node. As far as new nodes, there's a new split node, which just replaces the split viewer node, but is actually kind of cool. Not much has been changed with cycles this time around, but it does look like open denoise will be faster. Same goes for Eevee, which has a couple of light probe name changes, but that's really all. Baking with geometry nodes should be a little bit better, as there were a couple of errors previously that have now been fixed. Here's all the nodes that have been added, renamed, or slightly tweaked. One I found a little bit odd was that the Musgrave node has been changed to the noise texture. Aside from those nodes that I just mentioned, a couple of the other ones are slightly faster, like the extrude node. A pretty big change has happened to Auto Smooth, which is that it's now a modifier and is not found in object data properties. The purpose is so that it's more controllable. I guess we'll really just see about this one. Oh, but you can still do Auto Smooth by just right clicking, you just can't disable or change it unless you redo Auto Smooth or Shade Flat, so I guess it's doable. The import and exporting has also been improved. One such example of that is that exporting STLs has been rewritten the code so that it's in C++ instead of Python so that it's supposedly a lot faster. Aside from the smooth shading change, modeling really hasn't had much changes, except that you can lock the shape keys to prevent accidental changes from sculpting and such, and of course there are some modeling performance improvements. And like always, there are quite a few Python API changes, and as far as shader nodes go, it really just looks like it's mainly that the Musgrave texture has also been changed here to the noise texture. Not much has changed to sculpting this time around, and of all things, the sequencer has actually had quite a few tweaks. For example, the transform section now has some new filters, and aside from just those, there's many performance boosts within the sequence editor. Finally, the user interface has had a lot of tooltips added and many other smaller tweaks and adjustments. But yeah, that's the Blender 4.1 update. Lots of new features, but truly it looks like it's a lot more performance improvements than a typical update. Anyways, there's a lot more minor features that you can look into by checking the link in the description and going to the release notes. Either way, hopefully you got something out of it, and I'll see you later. Maybe you can check out some of these videos. Anyways, see ya. Bye!